Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am going to make a little ephemera today for the four journals that I've been working on. But first I want to say hi and hugs to Cheryl, Helen, Meg, and Carol. Those four ladies are the last ladies to buy some digitals from my shop. So I thought I'd give them a shout out because I wanted to share with you this new digital that I just listed. So these are um, vintage receipts and it's so fun. I got them at my local um, at my local antique store and they um, are from my area. 1930s on this one, um, 1950s. This Dairyland Dairy Products was a ice cream like manufacturing plant here in Helena and um, it's been gone for many, many years, but I remember it when I was a little kid. Um, so yeah, so Dairyland Dairy Products was one. Um, the Hennessy's Company in Butte, Montana. Um, this Helena Creamery was before my time, I believe. But this Wigginman's Market, um, this was the neighborhood that I grew up in. So that's that's a fun one for me. I've got a Townsend, Montana here. And then the last page, um, I actually added a little uh, ticket that I got at the antique store too. This was from Pennsylvania, but... Um, but yeah, so, oh, and this one is cool. This Rothamay, Montana. I don't think that town even exists anymore. I mean, I, I looked it up and I, I can't find it. So I think this was, this was from long ago when there was actually a town. <laughs> so as you know, I have lots of pockets in my journals. So I um, created this kit because I wanted some fun vintage ephemera to put in all the pockets. So let's play and, and do some, do some, uh, fun things here. Um, I think I'm going to pull this one out and I think this one is going to be my one that I put in the precious memories because it has a lot of old photographs in it. And I pulled out a Tim Holtz and I thought we might play with that a little bit. Um, I copied these on, this is some, uh, I don't know if it's ivory or buff or whatever, cardstock. And I wanted cardstock because I want these to be journaling cards. And, um, so I didn't, I didn't put, um, I didn't print them on matte photo paper because I'm not quite sure. I, you know, I, I didn't want, I didn't want that. Uh, I might do that and back them with cardstock at some point and see what different colors I get. But I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, I'm kind of thinking I'll do this red one for the poppy one. The poppy journal. So yeah, we'll just decide on which ones we want here first. And then um, over to the side here, I have some copies of doilies. I'm working on some kits with my antique doilies. I have, I have lots of antique doilies. It's sort of a, I don't know, I guess you would call it a collection. <laughs> and so, yeah, um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling this yellow one just to have a little variety in what I'm playing with today. And I was thinking about maybe, I don't know. I'll show you the other one I was kind of thinking of, but just get them all cut up. Yep, I I list I made the listings go live on Etsy before filming this, so so these little vintage receipts are out there. Um, I was kind of thinking of maybe doing something with this long one. Yeah, I think we'll do that just for fun, making sure I don't have two there. Let's see. So this actually had a white border around it. It's a little, a little hard to see, but I'm just, I'm just kind of going for it here. And 
Then we'll have our four that we're going to work with and um, can kind of go from there. Okay, cool. So these I will set aside for other projects. And we'll just set those up there. Okay, so we have our four that we want to play with. And what I'm thinking, I'm thinking about doing something with this Tim Holtz, these people. Because, you know, I mean, I, I like the writing, but I can cover that part up. And Helena Montana still shows. So that's, I'm thinking about doing something like that there. This one, what I'm thinking of doing, and I might have to cut it a little straighter. I might have to get out my cutter because um, I'm thinking of folding this part up and making a pocket. It was my thought. Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't trim that straight. <laughs> I figured, I figured not. Just get that little sliver off. Let's see how, let's see how this side is. It's got a little bulge, <laughs> a little bulge in the middle. Oh, yeah, there we go. Well, I'm going to do this video and then I have to go to the mail, um, to the post office and get the third of the giveaway boxes mailed out. I still haven't heard from... I think it's Carol Intinger. So if you if you watch this, get a hold of me or I will be forced to get rid of my box to to um someone else. Yeah, see I think I just want to fold that up and then um use this part and then make that a, <laughs> another pocket. I'm defeating the purpose, aren't I, of filling the pockets. Okay, so then the other thing I wanted to play with is I have some doilies here that I'll be listing in my shop. I've been working on the listings. Um, that one I did in a couple different sizes just to, I think I might put this one. This one might go on our um, poppy, I think. And I really want to use this one too. I already cut one out, so so we have that one. Let me just cut this out real quick. Now, when I, I shrink them down, I'm not, I don't know enough to be able to put multiples on a page. You guys probably do, but I just save those, and that's what I jelly print on and whatever. So, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm, I, you know, I wish I was a little more technically savvy, but you know. It's, it's my own fault because I honestly, I do not want to take the time to learn. I mean, I just, I just kind of do the basics and call it good is what I do. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I mean, I, I really probably should get a little smarter. Like, as you know, I don't edit my videos. It's, it's a one take wonder. I just, I just turn it on and craft with you guys like like we're sitting across the table and um and then also i you know i probably waste a little paper because i don't know how all the ins and outs of shrinking things down and you know my digitals i don't have um photoshop or anything like that i just share what i have as far as things that i don't think would be copyrighted like doilies or these old old receipts okay so what I'm thinking on that one is for the poppy one I'm just I'm just thinking about popping this maybe maybe kind of like so on there Actually, if I leave that, then this could be journaled on as well on the front. Maybe, maybe let's do that. Let me get out my glue book. Um, oh, I think I know what it needs. I'm looking at it going, it needs something. What do you think it needs? Oh, it probably needs a little zhuzhing. Uh, 
I sure hope Wendy doesn't have zhuzhing copyrighted because <laughs> I can't help it, Wendy. I watched too many of your videos. <laughs> Okay, and then let's let's do this too, just to oh yeah, that makes it gives it a little more vintage look then too, and covers up any parts where I didn't quite get my scissors where they should be. <laughs> okay, so. Do I want to cut this first? I think I do. That'll be easier to just glue what I need to glue and not have extra glue. And then we have the other half of this doily to do something else with. Oh, I think that's going to be cute. Okay. Oh, I'm super excited about these. I just think they're going to be, I'm going to use them a lot. And I just haven't, you know, I, I didn't, I don't want to use the originals. <laughs> I mean, when I'm long gone, some, some antique dealer can get them at my estate sale and resell them and we will have enjoyed them for all these years in between. So, you know, that all works. Oops, gotta go up a little bit. That might be the ticket is to get that in the corner. There we go. Okay, and then we are gonna give that a little Okay, that might be done. Uh, the other thing I was thinking of doing on these is going ahead and putting lines on the back. So, I'm gonna grab this and maybe just Some little light lines on the back to be followed while journaling. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm not totally feeling like this one is done, and I'm ooh, I don't know. I don't know. It needs something. I'm not sure if it needs a stamp. Uh, I don't know what it needs. But I, I kind of want something else on there. Here's a sunflower stamp. I kind of like that right there but I do want it to have a little framing so that it stands out from the back of the um, receipt you know just from the not a ton just a little bit yep Yeah, I don't really want it to cover up anything. I think I'm going to put it right there. And if we feel like if it, after all it needs a little something more, we can always do it later too. Okay. Simple but cute. And you could write here, you could write here, you could write there as well as the back. Okay, well, I'm going to call that one done for now because I'm real excited to move on to this one with the, with these folks. I was thinking about having something kind of just maybe show out the side. I don't know if I want lace or what exactly. I like that along, along the bottom. I'm 
just playing guys to see what I might like. Ooh, I kind of like that. Yep. Yep. I think that's it. Okay. Well, <laughs> now we just have to execute. <laughs> oh, oh man. It's just so much fun playing, isn't it? Yeah, the lovely thing about being retired is it's Monday morning and I'm in my craft room playing <laughs> instead of at work. I had a work dream this morning. That's, I think, why it's on my mind. Um, it's so weird. I mean, I've been retired. I'm, I'm going on in August. It'll be three years, but I still have work dreams sometimes. And... It was a frustrating one because I was trying to explain to a faculty member how important the kids were that worked for me. <laughs> how important and professional, I think, is what I said in my dream. So I have to, the gal that took my place when I retired is a really good friend and I need to, I need to text her and tell her, tell her my dream. She'll get a kick out of it. Yeah, I could, just couldn't get this faculty member to understand <laughs> how important my kids were. <laughs> oh, weird. I mean, it's like, where does that stuff come from? I don't know. I did watch the, I did watch the women's um, national championship basketball game. So I don't know if that put me in mind of colleges or what, but... <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of funny. Okay, I think I want it right about there. That's where we're going to go with it. And then I'm going to put this up here. Like so. But I think I'm going to use, since this is kind of cardy, I think I'm going to use my art glitter glue just to make sure it stays down okay. Okay, oops, <laughs> almost put the pin for my lace into my, into my glue. Okay, I just want this lined up right at the bottom. Oh, I like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to take this little lace. I think I just got this lace at Hobby Lobby, I believe. It was on the, you know, the wasn't on spools it was on the the big things that they have it wrapped around and um it was on clearance and so that was kind of fun i just i think if i remember right i said i'll take the rest of that bolt because sometimes i have trouble finding thin lace you know just just tiny lace that just gives you a little bit of a touch of things. So, okay, we're going to just pop that little piece of lace down there. Yes, I like that one. I forgot to show you these up close. So there's that one. Just simple, really. And there's that one. I love them. I love them both. Okay, let's keep playing. Just do a little something with this one. So for one thing, it's got it's got like the holes that um you know that they used to put it on kind of like a spindle stand or something. It's got the holes right there. I think it'd be really cute to punch those out now that I think about it. Just you know to give it more authenticity. I think I might do that. I was going to just cover them up with with this stressing. Oh, we forgot to put lines on the back of this one too. Well, we can go back and do that. Okay, where's my hole punch? Okay, let's see. Let's 
Okay. Just punch a hole there. Ooh, it's hard to see. Trying to line them up, kind of. Anyway, that's kind of fun because that adds a little authenticity as well, doesn't it? Okay, so what do we want to do to... I really like just even... I like it as it is, to be honest. I can maybe put a little something here. Um... I'm going to look at my embroidered trims here, see if there's something, something cut out that I might like to just, it's not really cut out, it's partially, it's away from its, <laughs> the rest of its digital family, if you will. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, speaking of, I don't know if you guys do follow any sort of college sports, but watching the women's final, this sweet, sweet girl. She's like the leader of the Baylor team. She just totally blew out her knee. It was the most awful thing to watch. Oh, my gosh. I just sat there and cried the whole time. And she's the leader of the team. And she's got, she's had type 1 diabetes since she was 7. And so she had my heart right there because my grandson, my one grandson has has that. And it's, it's a hard, hard thing. And so, um... Anyway, she sort of had my heart from the get-go, and then to watch that happen to her, oh my gosh. And, you know, and her parents were just in anguish. It was awful. Just awful. I know it happens, but, oh man, I hate to see that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put those on there. It's not a lot, but it just kind of decorates it a little bit. Um... But anyway, Baylor, in the end, they won. And so that I was really rooting for them because losing their player like that. And then, you know, ugh. but gosh, talk about grit. Um, you know, she was off the out of the gym for a while getting x-rays or whatever. And then here she comes on crutches to, you know, make sure her... Make sure her team knows she's she's with them. You know, it's just, I don't know. Women are amazing creatures. And I'm so happy to see that there's so much more empowerment for young women these days than, you know, than when those of us, <laughs> those of us of a, a little more advanced age were, were girls. I mean, when I was in school, there wasn't even, um, the, there was half court basketball, you know, we didn't, we weren't even in gym class and stuff. We weren't even allowed to play full court. So it's come a long way, baby, <laughs> but there's a plenty of room, plenty of room to grow too. Um, almost wondering if I want maybe a little stamp in that corner or something that might might be kind of nice um oh look here's a poppy I should have used that on the poppy and I think I will I think I'm going to add that right there just just saw that as I opened that up this is one from my friend Eve in Switzerland. Um, the Snippet Shop on Etsy. 
gonna put it right here so that I am I in camera? Yeah. Um so that little 46 shows. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes you just gotta set things aside, don't you? And, and then something else comes to you. Ooh, here's a bunny. Oh, I think we need a bunny there. Okay. That's cute. Okay. And then the, and then I'm going to call that one done. I mean, you could just put them in as is. I just wanted to play with them a little bit. So, put Mr. Bunny on that one. And look how quick you can just pop these, make these ephemera and then have them for, like, I think I'll, I might grab the rest of the ones I didn't use and just, just play with them and make them up for future journals. Okay. I really like that one. That's just cute. Okay. So that's going to go in one. And then this one, I um, want to just kind of make it uh, its own pocket too. I think, I think it will fit in a tuck spot and then it can, um, you know, this one is real white. I think I'm going to just, I'm just going to age it up a bit. walnut stain as well here I think the walnut stain being a bit darker because the the journals themselves are pretty pretty grungy Hey, looks a bit, bit older now. And this side. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's do this. Actually, let's do this first, then that. <laughs> lines on this or I mean before I make the pocket I'll put the lines on this whoops forgot that okay I've kind of thrown my walnut stain over for vintage photo. I used to use walnut stain all the time and now I just kind of forget about it which just isn't fair <laughs> as if my distressing cast feelings. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty close to all my craft supplies. Maybe I maybe a little too close some might say. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to put some glue on this and make this a pocket. Okay. And I do believe give that a little ink here and there. Okay. All right, so that I knew I wanted to do. And I'm thinking I could do a little a little doily there. I'm looking at looking at this one. I'm not exactly sure. I got to cut it out to see what I might want to do with it, but I'm kind of thinking of just putting it on the edge there. 
Um, I don't know. We'll kind of see. Gosh, my husband told me that the Midwest is supposed to get another blizzard today. It's like, oh no, it's April. Let's be done with blizzards. But I guess we may get rain, but, and that's just fine. I am done with snow. We still have a lot of snow in our yard though. We were trying to do some yard work yesterday and had to, I was about to slip down the hill. So my husband was like, oh, I think we better wait. Hmm. What about that? That might be kind of cool. I like it that it's just the real muted colors too. Yeah, let's do that. That'd be kind of different. Okay, we'll use the other bits for something else. Yeah, I like that. different and fun. I said I wasn't going to make any new ephemera for this, um, for these journals. I was just going to use up what I had, which I have done, but really I, um, put in so many pockets of stuff. I, and those were things I already had made that I need stuff to go in them. You know, I think I'm just going to call that all that good and then we can stick something I don't know we can put something in the back a tag or something like that and then just pop that into a little tuck yeah okay so there you have it we've got our four pieces of ephemera I'll go back on the two that I didn't and put lines on the back but so that one turned out to be kind of a little pocket. This one's just got a bunny, so it's cute from the get-go, right? And then there's our poppy sunflower one. And there is our little one for the precious moments. So thanks everybody for watching. Thanks so much for your support of my Etsy and the new little digitals that I've been putting out. It's been a lot of fun. I have several other things. I've got the doilies um, and I've got some other surprises to come in the in the digital world of some of it being my own original art. So anyway, thanks so much everybody and we'll just see you next time. Have fun crafting. Bye bye.